whenever you hear somebody say do it nice or do it twice or do it right the first time there's all kinds of different versions of the saying but what they basically mean is if you don't do it correctly and spend the right amount of money the first time you're going to be doing it again it's basically do it until you do it right because the output shaft on the jeep where the drive axle connects to with the u-joint apparently the drive axle itself was not the only thing that got beat out around. The output shaft also, I guess, is a little bit egged because we got everything back together. He drove back to work yesterday and it spit out one of the end caps for the U-joints. And obviously the only way that can happen is if it's either out of a little bit of round or if it had a misalignment or something like that, or he forgot to put one of the pins in, which I don't think it's likely he's done this about a million times now. So he knows how to put a U-joint together. Um, I didn't watch, I didn't participate, but my vote is that he did it correctly and the thing is just a little bit out of round. So now I'm on my way back to the junkyard to get the output shaft that I beat off of the drive axle. That sounds funny. That I took off of the drive axle to not have to pay for because I didn't think that we needed it. So now it's a matter of hoping that it's still laying on the ground where I left it. Um, otherwise, we may be in for a long day. So I made it to the junkyard and as you can see, it's individual parking spots all the way around. And then this fucking asshole. So if anybody knows who this asshole is, be sure to tell him that he's a fucking asshole. Like he's got a goddamn Ferrari or something. Can't nobody park next to him for fear of scratching up his beautiful fucking paint job. He's got a double park in a fucking packed parking lot. What a fucking dick. Douchebag. And here's another fucking asshole. Double parked. So I got the output yoke. I started to panic when I got there because they had sweeped up all around the, uh, the truck and took all the parts that were laying on the ground and threw them in the bed of the truck. So luckily it was still there. Um, didn't charge me for the busted U-joint, um, like 15 bucks out the door. As you can see there, the cap is blown out completely. So new U-joint, pull all this stuff back off, put that shaft back in there. And then it should be done. Jesus. F and Jeep.